<laughs> Thank you, though. Hey, everybody, we're back with CBS chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. For the vaccinated, which is everybody in this building, should they freak out about Delta? About getting it, how it'll affect them? So they should be concerned, but they should not freak out. And I'll tell you a, a story of that should make you feel better. So everybody's worried about breakthrough infections, right? Yes. You've been vaccinated, and then suddenly you're learning that there are breakthrough infections. Sure. Well, think about it. There are more than 160 million people who were vaccinated. So if the vaccine were 95% effective at preventing, you know, s clinical illness, you know, that's symptoms, that's still 5% of more than 160 million. That's going to be more than 8 million people who are going to get breakthrough infections. So the question is, what happens to them? And we know from the, uh, from the outbreak in Provincetown mm -hmm. where... Uh, people who were vaccinated got these breakthrough infections. I just spoke to the CDC, and here's the latest numbers about that. We're closing in on almost 1,000 people who were infected from that epidemic, in, uh, from that outbreak in Provincetown. Most of them were vaccinated. Of those, seven hospitalizations, zero deaths. So what's happening? So less than so, one-tenth of one percent. Yeah, exactly. So turn a screw in your head, and instead of saying, oh, my gosh, these breakthroughs, it doesn't work, it's like, it works. This is proof that it works. Most of the people who are getting the breakthrough infections, although some people can get seriously ill, there are some relatively small number of deaths, most people do quite well. So these vaccines work. It's just not even up for debate. The CDC has uh, recommended a third dose, mm -hmm. a booster, for the immunocompromised and I think the very elderly at this point. I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. When for the rest of us? When am, when am I going to go in, or should I be going in now to <laughs> CVS and going, just give me a shot, just give me a <laughs> shot? Is that coming? I can give you some news because the FDA just texted me right before I came on. And they said that Pfizer has actually uh, is, is in the process of submitting a phase one, like a first phase submission for the booster shot. So it could be that in the yeah. So now, it, which that's great. That's good to know. But I thought you were going to give me some news that the FDA had given final approval okay. for the vaccines because I have friends and loved ones who are like I'm waiting for that full yes. FDA approval. What? would you say to those people, and when is that coming? Okay, so they did not wave me off saying that it could be by the end of August or certainly by the beginning of September. I think by, by the end of August... Two or three weeks. Two or three weeks, I think we're going to see f full approval of it, for one thing. I think sometime in the fall, early fall, we'll see... Um, them start to think about the boosters. It could take a while. What about for children under 12? And for children under 12, same thing. That's good news. That's good news. In the next two to three weeks, yeah. uh, full approval. Yeah. Uh, perhaps a month after that. Sometime in the fall, yeah, early sometime fall. Sometime in the fall, early, early fall for children. For, for children. I think sometime under, around under then. Under 12. Under 12. And then, um, and the last thing, I mean, I would really make a, pu a push for, to go back to the empathy thing when it comes to mass and everything else. Um, I... I'm part, I started something called the Empathy Project at NYU Langone Health, where I'm a professor of medicine, and it's to, take, to make Hollywood-quality short films and to use them to teach medical students and clinicians in training to be more empathetic, sensitive, and competent, and then to empower patients to demand that. And I think, yeah. right? Yeah. And, so I, so, and I've been, I have been talking to my students about how, because people, people are angry. Students are angry. My colleagues are angry uh, and frustrated. We did the little poll about uh, uh, California. I, I the Californians that. are angry at the people who aren't taking the vaccines. So when I'm talking to them, they're saying, like, what do we say to these people? You know, and I said, like, look, you got to uncoil. Because I really don't think you're going to change these people's minds by attacking. You, you won't. And there are going to be those people you won't change their minds. But the people who you can get to, it's going to be through empathy. What, what are your problems? Don't start off by talking. Start off by listening. And I think that's something that we have to do more of. Thank you, doctor. Dr. John LaPook, everybody. We'll be right back with comedian Sumi Abe.